CO session, engordo. Hey, Brian Angle K, and I am hanging out in a tunnel right now because it is raining like crazy, which means I am not going to be able to light this on camera because I don't have three hands. So anyway, CAO, kind of a hair miss brand. They usually have pretty good tobacco selection and good construction quality, but occasionally they end up picking flavor combos that are a little weird, or like in this case, they'll roll these cigars super duper tight. And like I said, I am in the middle of the Tunnel of Love because it is horribly raining like crazy. My hat is like dripping all over my camera. Well, phone. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get this cut and lit off camera and uh, just update from there. Well, anyway, it's kind of dawned on me this tunnel turns into a wind tube. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah. Right from the get-go. Current flavors. For starters, first thing you notice on uh, getting this toasted up is the aroma. It's got that just wonderful, inviting, typical cigar lounge smell that just makes you want to spark one up. Straight away. A little bit of leather, a little earthy. Touch of spice. Not bad. I'll be honest with you though, the aroma of this is really nice. Well, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down and make sure I got a decent-ish light and hopefully not get drained on too much here. Especially because it's kind of starting to drench my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and just get to the first inch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have to put up with whatever wind and echo I get here because, um, yeah, I kind of had to hurry up that last bit because I started seeing all these spots of water start building up on my phone and the last thing I want is a dead phone because it got stuck on the rain. Anyway. <laughs> Layers so far. I just went ahead and did a retro hill, and the retro hill in this is very interesting. It's got a very kind of coffee, cocoa, kind of cherry, cordial kind of thing. It's like you notice that there's that real earthy uh, coffee note, but there's also like a touch of cocoa and something almost cherry like, like dark cherry and, and slightly sweet. It's a very interesting retro hill. The actual flavor of the tobacco itself in the mouth. A little leathery, little earthy. Spices died down. Very interesting so far. Especially the fact that the, the mouth and the nose are just so totally different in just tone and flavoring. It's, it's very interesting. Okay, so, so far, to my, uh, <laughs> my pleasure, the actual draw on this is quite nice. Like I said, the first one of the head of these, I don't, at first I thought it was just a knot in the end, but no, it's, the whole thing was just rolled super fucking tight to the point where it was like sucking a milkshake through like a cocktail straw. This one's got just the right amount of you know, resistance to it that you, know, you have to pay attention to your draw and you know you're getting a good puff off of it. You know, it's like, just, just, this one just kind of got that sweet spot. Which is kind of the problem with CAO because they have a little bit of a consistency problem when it comes to their draws. Sometimes they draw real good, sometimes they draw real bad. And, well, you know, it is a handmade product, so... Sometimes somebody has an off day and just... <clears throat> I make this like... You know, they just go nuts with it. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to the halfway point. Hopefully not have any more weird uh, weather issues. Which means I'm probably going to be standing right here for the next shot, too. <laughs> I'm also going to yank the band. Alright, I'll get back to you at the halfway point here. Well, it looks like a pretty good halfway point to me. As you can see, construction, top notch. Definitely a well-made cigar because about half of it is completely destroyed by fire and it is still hanging on. So, yeah. Definitely not a problem there. Burn has been actually pretty good too. Despite my uh, screwed up lighting skills, this one wants to autocorrect really nicely. Flavor wise, pretty consistent. Kind of reminding me of like a dark espresso. There's just that touch of earthiness in there. Leathery notes have kind of died down, you know, there's not a whole lot of that. It's basically. This one's, this one's definitely hitting me as a very good coffee cigar. Yeah. 
definitely a good, deep, rich, strong coffee. Of course, you can have to, you know, you can smoke this with whatever you like. But so far, I'm just, I'm just really impressed at how long the hash is hanging on. <laughs> part of me wants to tap this, part of me wants to see how far it will actually go. Because it is kind of a thing, the long ash competition. <laughs> So far, that's kind of the thing about CAO. They have this kind of weird thing of, like, some of their lines are really awesome. Some of their lines, like, their flavored lines are just absolutely terrible. Uh, but, you know, they're always kind of a mixed bag. It's kind of weird like that. You know, so, like, the first one of these I had, I had a super tight draw. The next one was perfect. This one is really good. And, you know, it's just... Sometimes you get that one oddball. But, anyway, yeah, so far... Turned out to be an excellent cigar. Definitely worth the money if you can find them. Uh, well, actually, you should be able to find them pretty good. I think this is a newer line, actually. So, uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of poking around to figure out who's actually got them in stock. I know the Cigars International has them, that's where I got this one. But, uh, yeah, whatever your favorite retailer is, definitely check them out and uh, see if they have a session. Well, anyway, I'm going to smoke this down, and I may or may not update when the ash finally decides to fall off. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll, uh, Give you a final update at the end. Go figure. The final update, that's when the ash falls off. <laughs> I made it almost all the way to the end. So that's impressive. That really is. Construction on these definitely is not a slouch. Whew, it is cold out here. So anyway, wrapping this up. Flavors have been pretty consistent, and towards you get, once you get towards the end, they just kind of start washing out like pretty much every cigar. <sighs> it's like a good 60 degrees out, but there's like a solid breeze blowing some seriously cold, cold wet air. Obviously, it is still raining. Well, anyway, flavor starts off a little bit of spice, a little bit of earthy leather. The other notes kind of die down past an inch, and then it gets a really kind of coffee note, like real dark, strong coffee. Interesting retro hail, it has that kind of coffee, cherry cordial kind of thing. It's, there's definitely a sweet fruitiness in the retro hail. Overall, this has been an excellent cigar. Uh, my only real gripe about this as a line is sometimes you get construction that's a little overly stiff, like something got a little overzealous. Otherwise, definitely an excellent cigar. Other than that, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Definitely check them out if you get the chance. Uh, drink pairings, definitely good coffee. Obviously, you can smoke any cigar with a good whiskey. Other than that, that's pretty much it. If you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you've got a different experience. Let me know if you think I need a new hat. <laughs> Don't, also, uh, don't forget to check out my Twitch stream, which is Sundays and Wednesday nights, midnight to 2 a.m. I just recently managed to get Grand Theft Auto V from the Epic Store as a freebie, which was awesome. So I will be streaming that probably on Wednesday. Uh, all right, that, yep, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.